Hello everybody, UK Chris here, and today I'm going to be doing a video on the Beastman DLC that's coming out for Total War Warhammer. And we're going to be looking at the screenshots, trailers, and all the stuff that got kind of leaked, because it's not technically out yet, and um, just giving some analysis, speculation. We'll start this video off by saying I only recently got into Warhammer lore. Uh, I only started looking at it since Total Warhammer's release. So things I say in this video could be totally wrong, they could be totally off base. And if you are very well versed in Warhammer, you'll probably know that. And if you have any corrections, please put in the comments, I'll be sure to update the video. Now when it comes to the Beastman, they act like a horde, similar to a Tiller or the Skull Takers in Warhammer. They actually don't have settlements, so they'll just be roaming around, going through wherever, and they actually live in the forest. If anyone goes into the forest, they see it as their hunting grounds, I believe it's called. And whatever race you are, elf, not in the game yet, but human, orc, whatever. If you go into the hunt, if you go into their hunting grounds, the forests, they will kill you regardless. Now in Total Warhammer, the beast will probably be Chaos. So the same legend as the other DLC faction previously, Warriors of Chaos. But in the actual Warhammer lore, other people follow different religions, but I don't think that Total War has ever done it where one factions have multiple religions because, I don't know, it's just, I guess it's just hard for them to do. But that means that they'll probably have similar units to Warriors of Chaos, such as the Chaos Spawn and things like that. They might have similar events regarding the Chaos Gods and other things like that. Now there's potential since they follow the same religion as Warriors of Chaos that they could be friendly with each other. Uh, or Warriors of Chaos could simply be able to vassalize them or whatever they call it in the actual game like they do to the Northern Tribes. So maybe the Warriors of Chaos could have a roaming army as well as them that would be the Beastmen, which would be pretty cool. Now the trailer you've been watching, this is the announcement trailer for the Beastmen, and in this trailer they actually fight humans, and I believe the humans are from Middenheim due to their armour, and this actually ties in with the legendary lore that's absolutely 100% confirmed, who actually featured in the trailer, Kazarak One-Eye, I believe his name is, could be totally wrong, and the way he actually lost one of his eyes was due to one of the lords of Middenheim, Elect Count Boris Toddbringer, I believe is his name, could be getting that wrong as well, he actually cut out his eye during a battle. Now Kazarak One-Eye is probably going to be melee expert just because of the way he is, he has a sword, he has a whip, He's probably not going to use magic, although he could do. He could use it like Manfred, where he has different abilities as well, but we don't know that yet. Something else that you can quite clearly see in the trailer is a Cyclops, and this is going to be another large unit for the Beastmen, similarly to the Trolls or Giants or other factions. But a difference with him, at least in Warhammer lore, is that they can see the Winds of Magic. So that means that all the factions that use Winds of Magic, I think everybody apart from the Dwarfs, he could see that. So maybe that means he'll get an advantage when attacking a mage, or maybe he'll be able to block income magic damage because he can physically see it coming towards him. Now, similar to the Orcs, Beastmen are actual cannibals. Now, I haven't actually confirmed if the Beastmen's going to be one faction or if they're going to be other factions that are not playable as Beastmen in different locations. But if that is, that means that they'll be able to eat their own people similar to the Orcs, so that means they could gain replenishment from that. Not really a big detail, but just something to add. As I mentioned previously, Beastmen live in the forest, and in Total War Warhammer, there are many forests that humans or other races can't simply pass through, just because it's far too dense. Now, since the Beastmen live there, they will probably be able to navigate through these forests, giving them an advantage in certain areas. Now when the beastmen navigate through this forest, it could give them a different stance, similar to the way dwarves and orcs can dig underground. Perhaps the beastmen could have a forest stance in which they can cut through forests and attack enemies next to the forest and get a bonus and things like that. Now in Warhammer lore, beastmen tribes have rivalries and feuds with one another, so this could be a similar mechanic to the Warriors of Chaos, as uh, two armies can't get near to each other or they'll be infighting. If there are more tribes with the beastmen, if they get close to each other, there potentially could be attrition taken, similar to the Warriors of Chaos mechanic. Now the Beastman DLC will feature a small campaign where you'll be able to play as them, similar to the Caesar in Gaul. The DLC itself will come out on the 28th of July and will cost around £13, I'm not sure what that is in dollars or euros, and also there'll be a gameplay reveal on the 19th of July. Now along with this trailer coming out slightly early, also a few screenshots came out, I'm just going to talk about them and show them. Uh, some of them feature quite a lot of information, others don't so much. Now with this first screenshot you can see quite a lot as it's on the campaign map. Uh, you can see the entire army that they've assembled right there. And it starts off with mainly infantry units, probably going to start off like the orcs, having orc boys and then progressively getting better, but the beastman equivalent. Then after that you have standard a few archers, looks like they're actually archers, not crossbowmen, or not using anything mechanical. Then after that you have some pretty interesting units. It looks like you have centaurs, and if you don't know what centaurs are, they're pretty much half horse. And then on this, commonly in pop culture it's human, but on this it's of course beastmen. And then you have boars, which seem rather strange for Warhammer, because uh, whenever I've seen it, at least, boars are almost ridden by an orc or ridden by someone, but these boars look independent and they're actually on their own, so maybe they're just commanded by the beastmen. They look rather large, and he has two units of them, and after that he has finally what I presume to be minotaurs. They look very large, look like they've got a bullhead, and they also have two axes in their hands, so they can be absolutely devastating on the battlefield. Also, if you look in the bottom left, you can see next to Karazak One-Eye, there also seems to be like a fightiness meter, but probably the beastman equivalent, so maybe they'll take attrition if they don't fight enough or attack enough people. And if you'll see at the top, they also have the same currency as Chaos. 
Now in this next screenshot, you see new units. These presumably could be the units from the previous screenshot on the roster. This could be the Minotaur units. Now there's two of them that you can see very, very clearly, the one on the left one on the right. Now the one on the left looks much larger than the one on the right. It could be the different variants of them, similar to like if you see Crypt Hulls, some of them look different than the others. Also in the background, you notice in the back right, there's a huge Chaos Giant. That's another unit they have the exactly the same as Warriors of Chaos, so that could be devastating. So this means they could get access to quite a lot of large units. Now in this third screenshot, it looks like we get a look at a second Andrew Lord, Malagor. Now Malagor is much more of a mage than Karazak. Uh, I believe that he's blessed by the Dark Gods, that's what the Beastmen believe. And Beastmen also think he is the Doom of Mankind personified, so he's the personification of the Doom of Mankind. Now Malagor is extremely powerful, he's a Bray Shaman, and usually they will give advice and work with a single chieftain, but because he is so powerful, instead of working with a single chieftain, a direct quote from the wiki is, instead he whispers to steer the course of the entire Beastmen race. As Beastmen believe that Malagor is the personification of the death of mankind, this could mean that when he fights humans, they potentially have the shaken effect near them, they're rather scared of him as he is potentially their downfall. A direct quote from the wiki is, The presence of Malagor has caused stout defenders to abandon their otherwise impregnable walls, and the mightiest of warriors to fall to their knees in the mud in abject defeat. Now, new ways to look at Karazak and Malagor could be to compare them to Grimgor and Azag, as they're very similar. Karazak and Grimgor are very good melee, they're very strong units, very good generals, and Azag and Malagor are very good mages and very well versed in their lore of magic. In the back right there, you can see Kazarak. Looks like he's taking some attrition. This could be due to him having low fightiness. Could be that bar that we saw in the first screenshot be extremely low, but him take attrition. Or perhaps he could be too close to Malagor and they're in the infighting, similar to the way that the Warriors of Chaos do. Now you can tell where they are from the structure behind them. That is actually in the Orc territory. Now they do have two legendary lords, which means they've got to be partially through the game. But it does beg the question: Where do they spawn? So that means they could spawn down in the southern Orc territory. They could spawn in the north, as we've seen them fight humans, or in the middle. Who knows? We really just don't know that yet. So the first thing to point out in this screenshot is the Cyclops himself. He looks absolutely amazing. The attention to detail on him is astounding. Also, what he's got in his right hand, he has a huge boulder rock of sorts. And he actually uses as a weapon in the other screenshots, which I'll show after. But he just looks so insane. Also looks like he's got an Empire Soldier in his left hand. So he looks like he's going to grab them, similar to the way the Giants do. Also on the right of him, there are two explosions. That just, that just makes it look cinematic as hell. That's probably nothing to do with the actual beast themselves. They probably don't have artillery, just huge large units. But that still looks cinematic as hell. Now going from one cinematic screenshot to another, this one just looks absolutely insane. It looks extremely cinematic. It looks like the end of a trailer where two armies are about to clash. Now as you can see at the front there is Karazak one eye. It looks like he's using his whip as well as a sword, which is pretty insane. Now you also notice if you look in the back left, it looks like the Cyclops is there. It looks like he's about to actually throw the rock at the Wyvern on the right, which could be an insane ability for him. You'd just be able to knock them out of the sky and beat the hell out of them. Also you notice they're fighting the vampire counts. Now this is the first screenshot we see them do this, so that means they could spawn up there, maybe near them. But obviously, they just attack everybody. If they go into their woods, they're going to kill anybody that goes in there. Now, in this screenshot, you get to see more of this regular beast mean It's just the average infantry, the average man or beast. And uh, as you see in the background there, the Cyclops looks like he's about to throw that rock again, which could be devastating to enemy troops. Imagine that thing just landing on them. Also, you know, it's on the right, those spike things, they look like the boars. We haven't actually seen them in the screenshot. The only one they're in is this. You don't really get a good look at them, but it looks like they're about to charge in the enemy lines, and they could be absolutely devastating if they crashed into your men. Now, it's obvious what the focus of this screenshot is. It's obviously the centaur. They look absolutely insane a lot of attention to detail got little shields got little spears like that absolutely shrek because you think about it, they've got the force of cavalry to then charge into a unit and then just kill them like an average average beast and of course you've got cyclops in the background looks like you could throw the horse at that guy on the flying horse uh, i think it's a i don't know what it's called to be perfectly honest but nothing really new in the screenshot apart from the center they look absolutely insane can't wait to use them now onto the final screenshot, this is a new event for the Beastman called the Dark Moon, and I'll read it to you, of all the creatures of Chaos Beastman are especially close with the relationship with Morseleb, that's probably a Chaos God, I could be saying it totally wrong, whenever the Dark Moon is fullest in the sky, the Beastman mark this time in various ways, both of both violent and carnal. Only the most arrogant of beast lords would ignore its passing. It looks like if they do anything but ignore nothing, but do nothing, they will get some sort of bonus. But another thing to point out is look at the location they're in. I originally thought it was near the, but then the border princes up near the vampire counts, but it actually looks like it's in Tilia's land if you look at the map. That's extremely close where Tilly and Estilia are. So and they also look at Karazak one he's level one. So this could mean that this is where they start, this is where they begin. Who knows, but that'd be pretty cool area because we've never actually seen anyone start there as of yet. So along with this actual DLC, it looks like some free OC will be coming as well, which is free of charge for everybody. There'll be a new lore of magic, which will be the lore of beasts, obviously because of the Beastmen. And also an Amber Mage will be in the new hero for the Empire, which sounds pretty cool and is uh, good for all those people that don't actually buy the DLC to get something for free. Alright, that is it guys. I hope you enjoyed this. That is the analysis for the Beastmen trailer and screenshots. Uh, I probably definitely will be doing a Let's Play on them, so subscribe if you want to see that. Like the video if you enjoyed it. I uh, hope you guys did. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.